hi welcome to my channel today i am replacing the links or drop links on this vehicle uh, i was hearing a kind of rattling noise when i'm driving and um, maybe on even on the small potholes or when i'm going over the speed bumps i can hear the noise as well as well as the the wheel alignment i can see my tire is um, been eaten from one side so when i looked at the suspension system uh, and i could see that the links are bad which you can see they are moving easily by hand just like this they're not supposed to move like this they should be uh, they are normally very very hard to move if they are new so you can see i can easily move them left to right so this is the sign of a, a bad link which needs to be replaced so i've just used the wd40 spray here and we're going to open this bolt here and the one behind there this is a 17 mm bolt the upper uh, nut or bolt is loose but i can see it's moving from behind as well so i will need to use the spanner and the allen key to open it if you do not have allen key available you can also use the this clamp plier in the back to hold the uh, the inside bolt and you then try to open the nut now it's loose now Okay, so here is the bolt out. So you would do the same with the lower one. Um, they are a bit hard to remove um, because there is a lot of rust there. Here is the other one. <coughs> So here is the old one and we got the new one here. Same size. The only difference uh, gonna be this uh, this nut, this uh, bolt gonna be a 19 millimeter. The one which was there, the original one is the 17 millimeter. That's the only difference. Otherwise, everything is the same. So we're gonna install this one now. Sometimes, uh, sometimes they're not aligned. This part doesn't go in, so you can move it with the force up and down, and you will be able to align it to this uh, hole.
if you rest your allen key here it's going to help you to hold it and then you can use the force to tighten this nut like this This is the other side, uh, the left hand side or the passenger side um, of the link, the link of the passenger side. As you can see, I had to cut it because the bolt, when I was trying to uh, open it, loosen it, after few threads, it stopped moving. So uh, I tried everything, WD-40 spray and then all other things like holding it with the clamp plier from the back and uh, using the torque uh, key here, nothing was working, it was so hard. So I actually had to cut it from this side and the other side. So I got this. Um, discs which is a metal and uh, steel stainless steel cutting disc I went to the hardware shop and got this disc for two euro and I just put it on uh, my drill machine and uh, obviously safety first had to use the gloves and all uh, and the shield to make sure uh, wearing the goggles to make sure that it's not um, uh, flying anything object flying into your eyes or your face and uh, after unscrewing few threads there was a little bit a uh, space this disc is one millimeter uh, thick so when I unscrew the screw uh, when I unscrew the bolt I had a little bit more than one millimeter gap so in into that cap I just went in there and cut the disc uh, cut the uh, the bolt and it was a lot easier than struggling to open to open the the bolt so I hope this helps um, yeah it is it is not easy job uh, to do if you if the bolt gets stuck I think especially the left hand side is uh, kind of more prone to uh, all the dust and all the the mud water and everything and that cause the bolt to stuck more than on the right hand side.